Hello, my rational investors and money chasers. People divide money in categories depending on how they earn this exact money. If you are human and still don't know how this bias works, watch this video till the end and you will know something new about yourself. Or if you are already a totally rational guy, android I mean, you will be able to laugh and get funny at this non-rational person. I will teach you one exercise to spend less. Because it's always the same $100 note, doesn't matter how you have earned them. But we don't act this rational at all. And it's weird. And in this video I will explain how it works and what to do in order to become more rational with money. Closer to Android. What kind of categories can people arrange all the same money? Earnhardt. One was presented, earned in investing, found on the floor, stolen, uh, oh no, sorry, uh, I mean, etc. As you can imagine, it's always the same money, but people find it easier to part with easy money, as with earned at Bitcoin Rush, for example. If you want to buy a good expensive MacBook for $3,000, you understand that it's very expensive and this purchase um, is not, not worth it. Uh, yes, you have this money to buy it and after a month you get a grant from university and suddenly you have that additional money. And now you can spend money on this MacBook for $3,000 being a student. It's a real story from one of my friends. She's a very smart girl. No any jokes here. Did that money dramatically change her situation? No. Why? But she bought it because now she thinks that, uh, that money is different from a salary. But if we ever count it on working hours, it will be a lot of hard earned money. That might be three months of working. And the MacBook has not changed its price. It's irrational because indeed the value of the money doesn't depend on the source of their origin. Practical advice here, imagine that all money is hard-earned category. Put them there in order to be rational. And don't spend money on excess things. It will become a trick to remember in order to save some money almost everywhere. So if you got some easy money from Bitcoin, Ethereum, inheritance and so on, advice remains the same. Put it in the hard-earned category in your brain. And that psychological trick will help you to be more rational and frugal with this money. Frugality! Because mental accounting matters. And this is not my expression, it's an article based on research by Richard Teller, a famous American economist and professor in behavioral economics. Teller was the 2017 recipient of the Nobel Memorial Prize in economics, by the way. He discovered so many weird, non-rational human behaviors. So here I covered uh, my back with a famous name. Therefore, this way of distributing finances based on subjective criteria leads to irrational behavior in the field of consumption and savings. And we can fix many of our financial misbehavior because of his discoveries. If you want to go deeper and further on this topic, just press the like button for me to know it. Thanks. Each individual dollar has its own value to consumers, depending on the source and the regularity of the receipt. People use money of different uh, subjective values for different purposes. The income that the individual expected and predicted goes to basic necessities such as housing, food and clothing. Unexpected income, in turn, will be spent outside the box. For example, on luxury goods. You may say the what the heck, but it's true. People are willing to pay different amounts for the same good depending on the place of purchase. Cognitive biases associated with the mental accounting are found in different areas. The simultaneous presence of a person's savings for a large purchase and the consumer loan. The investor's division of his portfolio into risky and risk-free portfolios. Paying by a credit card increases both the likelihood of a purchase and the cost. 
I feel it in myself when I earned a lot of money at risky Bitcoin deals. I have thoughts and tendency to spend it with easiness or invest in another dumb or risky enterprise. And maybe the only reason why I did not give it to this dumb temptation is knowing about this effect. You can see a lot of uh, rich financial bloggers very famous and what do they do with this uh, money that they earn at the bitcoins and they, they just treat it as a garbage. Easy come, easy go? Wrong. Why? Oh, those proverbs or words from songs, they work like automatic triggers, do not follow in this way. Live fast, die young is only a song, but now you know it also. It's better to imagine and reput this money in another category. Which one? Highest mark. Hard earned. Sometimes a government puts a restriction on the people for using grants, benefits, aids, uh, maternal capital and free money in order to stop from disposing of them mistakenly and to achieve the real exact goals. Therefore, people such as Richard Taller help governments and can solve them in order to apply effective state regulation and rules. I suppose that not in every field at all, definitely, but I also can touch on questions where mental accounting helps us achieve goals. For example, Dave Ramsey recommends us to use paper envelopes in order to budget our monthly income and to prevent overspending and spontaneously emotional purchases. Or you may have heard six charts, budgeting method and others. It works for sure, but what is wrong with them? All these principles ask you to divide your income into different envelopes, categories of mental accounting. 10% in reserve funds, not in Federal Reserve System. Then 50% on obligatory plant expenses, 20% uh, for investing and 10% for crazy and repeatable fun and entertainment for a boring person and 20% for merry fellows. This kind of budgeting is good for some of us and I always found that weird and now I know why. Can you imagine how rational thinking human beings will act in that case? In every scenario, he makes the only the most profitable propositions and decisions. He doesn't have unnecessary surplus spendings. He leaves emotions behind and buys only needed things. I call him Android. You can also. And we don't exist in a perfect meaning, but still close to it. Therefore, he needs an envelope in order to send a letter to grandma in Switzerland only. He doesn't need budgeting. This kind of approach forces a lot of people to only increase their spendings. Irrational. Spender. How? You maybe have already totally tired from a joy and fun. But you have unspended some of money in a fun category. And now you just go to buy the best fun in the world ever. Some crisps and snacks, chocolates, not cheap chips for chips. And as I said earlier, the simultaneous presence of a person's savings for a large purchase and a consumer loan at the same time. The rational person will pay off the debt with the big interest rates firstly, temporarily taking money away from savings. And then he will restore Buddha's golden balance by putting money in savings again. That will help him to save some extra money and not overpay them for a bank. That happens because people know that they are emotional and irrational sometimes. Therefore, they try to put their money into deep, unreachable cold places where their pretty hands will not reach them. And this is a little bit rational again, based on self-acknowledgement. So please don't hurry to put yourself in a rational android category and to stop budgeting. Only if you are really ready and self-assured and not losing control of your finances. One more funny observation for today. 
Evidence from commodity price shocks by 2013 have shown us. When the gasoline prices have fallen from $4 to $2 per gallon, consumers, instead of spending less, they just started buying more expensive gasoline. Irrational, weird human behavior. Not really. What to do if you plan to spend $100 for gasoline per month? Now it's two times cheaper. <laughs> A lot of people automatically try to finish off their envelopes instead of saving them. Thanks you Dave Ramsey for your envelope budgeting system. Smash the like button for Dave Ramsey and rational mental accounting. YouTube likes it, not me. And I hope you get both joy and value from this video, therefore I want to see you in subscribers. Thank you.